Hi everyone, Randy Swati here, hoping to get you started with modifying a Landfire Biophysical Settings model in a way that better represents current conditions. In this, the second of five videos in the Modifier Model series, we will work through our trusty Sage Step model as an example learning how to change the probability of a disturbance across all states. This just might be the most rewarding thing you do in SynchroSim. By adding a simple zero in the correct place, you can suppress all replacement fires, or any other disturbance for that matter, across the biophysical setting. If you're not careful, it will be too good to be true, however. In our example, we have the most incredible fire suppression program possible. In fact, it's perfect. There are no replacement fires. This may be due to removal of fuels that would typically make a replacement fire possible, or by removing all people in lightning. Okay, not the most plausible example. Anyways, let's learn how to turn off all replacement fires because this method will be useful for you with other disturbances and more realistic situations. As in the first of these videos, you will copy, paste, and rename a scenario. It almost doesn't matter which one. In this case, we're going to copy, right click again, paste, and we'll rename this something useful, such as zero replacement fire. Great. Also, this is super important here. We need to document what we're doing. This change will be a bit hidden, so if we don't document it here, people, maybe including you, could be very confused by the results later on. So I will type in a description. Okay, I've typed in a bit of a description here. We are going to perform a universal technique that will not be highlighted in the usual spots. So I've made sure to include this technique that I'm about to use in the description. Excited? Okay, we're going to make a little spin through the tabs here to make sure things are set up properly. Run control, we have a zero start time step, 1000 end time step, and three iterations. We have four states and associated transition pathways. That looks reasonable. Initial conditions, we have the same relative amount in all the states. Now, Let's go over to the advanced tab. Okay, we're gonna use this technique called transition multipliers. While you're here, just spin through these and see what you think they might do. I'd be curious to hear. To add a new transition type group, we're gonna hit the drop down here and select replacement fire. Now what we're gonna do is simply add in a zero here. This multiplies all the probabilities for all replacement fires across this whole model by zero, effectively eliminating them. You could add in other numbers. You could add in two to double the probabilities and so on. I'll close out of this, highlight our scenario and hit the run button, then saving. Okay, now that we have a successful model run for the zero replacement fire, I'm going to double click on the succession classes time steps 500 through 1000 results chart. Okay, the reference condition model outputs are in the burgundy color and the zero replacement fire is in the blue. As expected, we have an increase in the late one closed class. I guess that typically the other state classes rely on replacement fire. Since we turned off all replacement fire, the cells or acres start to pile up in the zero replacement fire late one class as we see here. Hope you enjoyed video two of five, changing the probability of a disturbance across all states and that we see you back soon for video three where we will introduce a new disturbance.